Um, yes, actually, um, there's a lot of common synergy between what the Ship Owner Club does as a PNI club, insuring over 35,000 ships, and the Nautical Institute as well, being a global organization with uh, representation in so many countries, and you know, mainly for training and development of seafarers, etc. And um, I think the main thing that comes to my mind and reverberates quite well is um, um, it should be stakeholder satisfaction. You know, it's I want to draw the line. It's not customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction means just probably um, if you know you're my customer and I need to kind of uh, do a show and tell for you. But it should be for the entire industry, and that's what the club does, and that's what the Nautical Institute does. So it's all about the whole ecosystem all the players who are there they must benefit from this and so we take a lot of time in research and development come up with strategies projects etc so that um, all levels of shipping who have to benefit from the new drive of digitalization and um, you know decarbonization and so many new technologies not everyone has the funds for it access to research but that's what we should try and make it a level playing field for everyone I think it's safe to say that definitely we are on the right track from where we were many years ago with technology and with reporting systems and with regulatory uh, instruments coming forward. We are on the right track. We can see that the claims, um, there's, there are two things of it. It could be in number or it could be in quantum or impact, uh, how high level or how low level it is. Um, we see more claims now because reporting is more, but we should say that quite a large scale of them are lower level impact and it's something that we're working towards it won't be perfect i think um, it's always shipping is such a dynamic industry with so many working parts and so many external factors that we will have claims but i think the key element over there are the seafarers and while everybody likes to kind of apportion that you know seafarer element or a blame thing um, from where i stand i think seafarers do a magnificent job in making sure that it's only 70 or 80 percent it could be much more but timely uh, i think uh, tending by the seafarers makes a lot of difference and so well done to our sailing guys ah that's a um, good one because what i would like to change definitely is the image of shipping it's not what it used to be it was quite a glorious uh, profession and for many factors whatsoever, it's come to something where it's not even among the top 10 professions for somebody. Many people haven't even heard of something as shipping as a profession and it's, we need to change that. Um, it's unfortunate we only make the news and the headlines when something goes wrong. And that itself starts everything on a negative uh, note. So I think we shouldn't be playing catch up. It should be the other way around. And um, we need to actually uh, make the point where Shipping is important because during COVID, when um, everything else was grounded, I think this was the only lifeline that ensured that all of us had our refrigerators stocked up. We could do our shopping and it was more or less business as usual because our seafarers were sacrificing and making sure that, you know, we were comfortable. Um, we shouldn't lose sight of that. In fact, we should recognize that. We tend to take those things for granted, but if somebody goes to a supermarket and picks up a product, and says, wow, oh, okay, this is probably made in the USA and you're in Singapore. Uh, it should occur that it's probably had a bit of a journey from where it's come to make sure that you're able to enjoy this product. So spare a thought for the seafarers, that would be the key line. Yeah, the wish list would be actually now with evolving um, things, technology in terms of digitalization, decarbonization, there's so much necessity for training. So training has to go for a different level. But the wish list, I would say in one word would be collaboration. And it goes back to the first point, stakeholder satisfaction, where everybody comes together and makes sure that it's available. Um, if it comes down to ammonia training, for example, not everybody has that expertise. And soon it has to be the experts who get together and make sure it comes to everybody else. That's the most important thing, I think, um, where I think working together is the way we would be able to tide over this change in the industry at the moment.